Hi everybody. Uh, today I'm going to be taking the time to reflect on who I want to desire to be in life. Um, now this question I know runs through the minds of every individual at one point or another, and I believe it's a part of human nature. Uh, now this journey can be categorized in five strategies as described in Robert Greene's book, Mastery. Um, he advises that it might seem that connecting to something as personal as an inclination and as your inclination and your life's tasks would be natural and simple to do. However, it's evident that it's the complete opposite. In order to see what we desire, we must take the time to develop a blueprint. Uh, so one of the strategies is to occupy the perfect niche, the Darwinian strategy. Now this concept opened my eyes in pointing out that the more people within a field of study, the lesser of an impact you have on it. So this indicated to me to become an asset rather than a liability. Um, and at the same time, to be prideful in your work because it's feeling that fire within you. Um, it's being fully content with your work and passion, even if you're considered an anomaly to everyone else. Uh, the next strategy is to avoid the false path, the rebellion strategy. Uh, this could be steering away from the path uh, that those we see as authority figures place on us. I reflected on this because perhaps I should have rebelled when I was pursuing my bachelor's and not stay so close to home. Um, but I did oblige. I was told to stay nearby, and so I did. Um, now, Green indicates that a false path of life is generally something we are attracted to for the wrong reasons. And I did the same thing after I graduated. I went ahead and worked for health insurance uh, because it paid well. But now I choose to learn from this experience and not dwell on the past. Now, the next strategy is to let go of the past, the adaptation strategy. Um, which I realized that if I'm not open to gain more knowledge, I will be left behind. Um, the next strategy that, you know, Robert Greene indicates is to find your way back, the life or death strategy, which I just conclude as find your life's task or die. And I don't really mean it in the literal sense, uh, although, you know, unfortunately it could result to that for some people. Um, but it's just in the case that, you know, if you aren't following your path, you know, that strive to succeed is gone and it could cause depression um, and is very dangerous. Now, Green advises that no good can ever come from deviating from the path you were destined to follow. And without drive, you become empty. So it is a life or death situation in a sense. Now, bring it back to uh, one of the strategies, last and final strategy I wanted to touch upon, which is return to your origins, uh, the primal inclination strategy. This is one of the strategies that I can honestly say turn my life around. Um, the concept that Robert Greene expresses is that in order to master a field, you must love the subject and feel a profound connection to it. And nobody knows yourself the way you know you. So um, a couple months back, uh, my parents wanted me to accompany them to uh, the National Shrine of the Divine Mercy in Stockbridge, Massachusetts. And while I was there, I met with Brother John, who was a monk that resides nearby, and he became he be he became close uh, to us and started talking to me specifically about what my life work is. And I advised him that I work in customer service. Um, so he asked, uh, what about going to school? And I said, well, I, you know, I graduated with my bachelor's degree in communications. And he realized how very, um, you know, proud I was of that. And he's like, well, what about your master's? Yeah, my master's. Um, funny story. And he was like, so you're not sure. I was like, I'm not sure what to go in for. And he's like, what about journalism? And I swear it, it was my aha moment. I, I had a, you know, like a, a, in real flashback honestly uh, i see myself uh, in my sophomore and junior year and i recall taking television broadcasting and you know doing a news segment as my final project um you know at that moment i became a woman of action and I, a couple minutes later now i'm enrolled in full sailing university pursuing my master's degree in new media journalism and it's very rejuvenating uh, so my dream career would be uh, to work for a platform when I'm able to assist on reporting on stories. Nowadays, people are getting the majority of their news from social media sites. So the industry itself is changing, and I would like to write the reports that people receive on their mobile devices. I would like to compile the information based on importance and provide the knowledge for people to decipher. Uh, one of the goals I can work on within the next three weeks, um, I intend to uh, start you know, keeping a journal uh, so I can sharpen my skills of writing. 
And um, another one would be to examine more articles on the same current event and just get a sense of how those articles are articulated. I uh, want to be able to point out that this is how I am choosing to become a master in my own field.